friends, it's Allison at AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome to my messy desk. This is another edition of What's on My Desk Today, and I thought I would just share with you, this is literally what it looks like this morning. And so I have so much to go work on today and fun things to play with, but this is what it looks like this morning. I have a little bit of time before I... um start my work day and I just thought I would check in with you guys and see how you guys are doing. I know we're getting more time to check in with each other and I just wanted to share what my process looks like um, really every morning if you will. This um, looks like a mess because I dumped some stuff here last night. Some of it um, is a normal mess and some of it's added mess and then I have some stuff I want to show you which I already have decided I'm going to put in a different video but here's a little a little glimpse of what I'm going to show you in my next video that I film later this afternoon. I'll go over this. This is from um, 2014 and I just wanted to share that yumminess with you. And then I already have another video over here that I want to film for you guys. So um, I wanted to show you literally what I do on a daily basis and what's on my desk, what my morning looks like. So this is kind of, like I said, what's here this morning. Um, so I will clear things off and just kind of show you where I'm at. I'm not going to show you all the insides or whatnot um, and, and go from there. So the first thing that's on my desk, well, here is my daily Fobonichi that I'm like in the process of working on. And it's always just open to kind of like where I left off the night before or whatever, like that sort of thing. So um, that's always on my desk and like able to be worked on, if you will. Let me make sure I have you guys here. Yep. Okay, so this morning and every morning, um, I do journaling. And so um, this is what I do my morning journaling in. Um, right now I'm working on morning pages and so those are not shared and whatever. It's just straight journaling. There's nothing else in there. Um, but what I had this morning was, I'm gonna put this aside and show you in a minute. What I had this morning was, um, and I've showed you this journal before. It's just a black um, leather journal, if you will. I got this at, oh my gosh, you guys, I totally, see, you saved me. <laughs> I had it out like this and I was gonna decorate with you guys and I just realized I have it like, oh my gosh, upside down and backwards. Okay, that's hilarious. Let's hope this silly sticker comes off. Okay, so this, um, I've shared this with you in a previous video. By the way, if you're new here, welcome. Um, my desk is not always this chaotic and I and I don't always do this sort of video, but um, thanks for coming. I'm glad you're here. For those of you that have been around a while, um, thanks for referring people here. I've had some new, some new subscribers lately and I'm really, really grateful for that. And um, I'm just super grateful. This is something else I was working on. Oh yeah, um, I'm super grateful for all of your videos and everything we share. And so I just, I just think it's great that we can come on here and kind of share our life and inspire each other. So, okay, back to where I was. This video, I mean, this case, I don't know, Co Casco, I don't even know. Um, I got this at the thrift store for like a dollar. I was gonna use it for like work notes. I take notes at work all the time and then, you know, shred them or whatnot as I use them. Um, and I just decided it was going to be my next morning journal pages. So um, it's just something I come in and write in. It's nothing. And again, I'm not going to share it. But I was thinking like, I kind of like some decoration on it. So I went through my stickers this morning. I have a bunch of these kind of like bigger whatever stickers. Um, and I just pulled some that I thought I might just put on here. I don't know why they don't, you know, it's... And they just spoke to me this morning. I'm just going to put them on here um, because they, the problem I have, I'll be honest with you guys, is I, I hoard my stuff and I don't want to use it. Like I don't, I'm afraid like, oh, I'm going to need this, like this bird, you guys. I mean, stop it. I love him. He might have to go on this journal. I, I like love him. I don't want to use him. I don't know. For those of you that have seen my Hobonichi, this is what it looks like right now. And so this, it has like a cover obviously on it and then this plastic cover on cover. And then these stickers I had just laying in here for a long time and I recently like stuck them down. 
because I really, I didn't know for sure. And then I have photos on the back, but so anyway, the point is I have a hard time using up my stickers. And so this one, you guys, I, I really love the bird. So the question is, do I put them on like this month's journal, like this Hobonichi or Fobonichi, or do I put them on my morning pages? I don't know. So obviously on the back, it didn't have the strap. So I kind of had this guy, I think, and they don't make any sense. I just had them kind of, they just spoke to me this morning. So I don't know. So again, I get to the dilemma of like, do I actually want to use them or not? I might do that for now. The cat cracks me up. I think I'll put the cat on. I'm going to, I, you guys, I have to save the bird. I can't, or do I just use the bird? I wish we were live. I wish you guys could just tell me. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The The cat like doesn't, I don't know. Oh, I love the bird. Maybe I'll just do that. Shoot, you guys. Okay, this was the other one I had. I was kind of going to do, but now the four don't fit. You can see, even if I put him under the... Well, he kind of looks cool like that, huh? Oh, I kind of like the cat there. Okay, that decision's made. I will do that. Um, so I'm going to show you. So I've already done my morning pages, obviously. That's like the first thing I do in the morning. It's a way to clear my head and kind of get going for the day. I kind of combined a couple practices. One is like literally called morning pages. And... Um, One is, I think, the Miracle Morning or something like that. And um, anyway, so I I kind of combine my own. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm not loving him for whatever reason. And I really like the bird, you guys. I'm going to put the bird on. I'm just going to do it because I have to get over my thing of whatever. Like, I'm going to need it later. There's plenty. I will always have enough stickers to... Okay, that decision's been made. So that is now my morning journal pages. I kind of like that. That's a little bit more exciting to wake up to, I guess, is my whole point. And I didn't want like colorful stickers. I'll show those to you in a second. So anyway, that's my morning journal. So I wake up to this every morning and I do some pages in there. Um, the second thing I do, well, all the time I do is obviously look at my schedule for the day. And obviously, as we know, our days right now are not... Um, as busy, right? But obviously I still have to do my taxes this week. Um, I have to follow up on the last part of it. It doesn't, it's fine. Um, this is what my planner week looks like this week. Uh -huh. You guys, I am so embarrassed. I decorated this week and I was like, oh, I'll just do these cute animal washi and blah, 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 blah. And my poor child daughter is like, mom, when are we dying eggs? And I'm like, what? <laughs> because it's Easter on Sunday. Yes, that's how out of it I am. And so I went in and added these. They don't even match. I don't even care. Um, yeah, bad. So I put this little sticker here as a reminder to dye eggs this week because it's always something we do. We always have all of the friends over. Even as teens, they love doing it. The bunny still comes. The bunny still hides eggs. Um, uh, yeah, so I need to get I need to like this I saw on someone else's planner and I just felt it was perfect for this week. I don't know if the video I was watching was someone else like a current week or not, but I just felt like, oh my gosh, this is real life. We are in the middle, I hope at least middle of this coronavirus thing and we are on week whatever three of like at home. So we're adjusting, right? So I made some new to do's on my thing. These are new on my planner. Um, so like I just every single day I want to get these things done um, and get a little bit more in a routine. So like AM journal is here um, work. Obviously, I have appointments today and so I'll need I'll do that. And then I always try to do like one thing around the house that or I've been trying to do while we're home. One thing around the house that isn't just normal. So like clean out a cabinet or um whatever, take a run to Goodwill or like do something for the house. So like on Sunday, 
it wasn't necessarily planned, but we ended up doing like this huge thing of gardening and cutting back all the trees in the yard and hauling the, all those. And so I'm trying to do one house project a day, if you will, um, or at least spend a quality amount of time on a house project. We may not finish it or whatever. Um, this is my next journal, which I'll show you. Zoom um, is a meeting thing I have and then reading every day. So I'm trying to make a checklist so I stay a little bit more grounded and have a little bit more of a routine. I found that um, as we're going through this time, we are pretty loosey-goosey around here about scheduling. I have two teens. I'm letting them manage their own responsibilities, um, which means we're pretty loose on bedtimes and whatnot. Um, that's fine. I have one leaving for college in the fall. He's going to have to figure that out. So if he stays up late and sleeps in or, and they're super responsible kids. And so that is super fine with me. So our schedule is completely open, if you will, and everyone's just responsible for their own time. So that includes me. And so I really have found like, um, now, interestingly enough, the thing I did not put on here, see, that's interesting. So because it's not even a thing that I have to remind myself, I don't know, it's just weird, but I'll add it here. Um, I'll just, oh, and I know, well, I know why I didn't do it. Okay, I'm going to put move. And I know why I consciously, I know why I didn't do it now. I didn't do it because it's part of my 90 day checklist. So that's why. Um, and I obviously have the sticky here. I have to email them back. Something is why that's there. And then I have to do's. I have, I didn't write goals for the week. I don't know. Current week, you guys, current week in my Hobonichi. And let's see if I can show you the month. It's pretty, um, Oh, that's March. Let's do April. Um, I mean, it's pretty, pretty open. So on this one, I had Easter obviously on it and I didn't even look at it as I prepped my week. I'm super sad because on this Thursday night, we were supposed to go see Dave Hollis live for his book tour. So that's like another thing canceled. So you can see on here, um, like I had an appointment for my lashes this day. I had an appointment or an appointment. We had a date night to go see Dave Hollis this night and that's canceled. So the rest of the stuff I did not put on my weekly schedule, but those were there ahead of time, obviously. Um, and then up here is how I track my work. Um, normally I track my work like nine to whatever, and then it equals so many hours. And now that I'm at home, I'm just tracking my hours because um, it's just open a little bit more. And so I'm having like, I do appointments and then I might have a break in the middle of the day, if you will, that I may not work during that time or I may, and then I go back and work at it later or um, have another session later. And so, so this would say like seven as opposed to nine to three or something. I don't know, something like that. So anyway, that is, um, that is my planner, Hobonichi, which is always on my desk. This is not the pen that normally goes in it. I must have left it upstairs because um, I do my writing upstairs in the morning. I don't always come down to my craft desk because this is too much chaos for me and I get um, sidetracked with creating. So, um, okay, that is off to the side. I wanted to show you this is, oh, this is the other thing I was going to add a sticker to. So for those of you that are familiar with Rachel Hollis, this was... Um, the last 90 days. This is her everyday start today journal that she sells. She sells it on her website. They had a release at Target that they also sold. And the the everyday start today journal, um, there's directions in the front. And if you follow her videos, there's all sorts of directions. But every single day you do this practice. And so this is part of my morning practice as well. Um, you write things you're grateful for. You wrote you write dreams that you made happen, which is the whole premise of you state them as if they're actually done, even though they're not. So it would say like, if you were, um, if you were in school, it would say like, I've graduated high school or I've, I have my bachelor's in whatever, or I have my doctorate, even though you're in the process of working on it because, um, that's how our mind works actually. And so, um, we want to say it is so as opposed to it's over there. Because if we say it's over there, um, then it's always kind of over there. That's a little simplified, but that's the premise of it. So every day, um, things you're grateful for. And these are tiny things. These are not like the giant things every day. And every day these change. So it could be, I'm grateful for coffee. I'm grateful for YouTube. I'm grateful for my warm sheets. I'm grateful we still have a job. I'm grateful for time with my family. These change every day. Um, 
these don't. So once you figure out what these are, and there's a process in the beginning of the book, um, once you figure out what these are, then they kind of remain the same until they settle in. Like it took me a while to kind of figure out what my, my goals were, goals, dreams, um, and, and then they flow. And then you write that until it happens. Okay. Or until you choose it not to be a goal anymore. Let's say you want to hike whatever Mount Everest and then for whatever reason you decide you know what that's not your goal and you're going to choose a different goal and that's completely fine but Rachel Hollis does an amazing job at this at her um conferences as well of like she met Oprah or she only flies so the example one of her examples I remember is she put like um I only fly first class um and she wrote that for years and years and years and then then she started only flying first class. And I know this is like a huge thing. Not everyone's in that space, but for her. And um, then once that happened, then she put, I think now on her thing is like, I only fly, fly private or something, you know? So you change it as it progresses. Okay. So anyway, and then you put a goal that you're going to achieve first. So you choose one of these and then um, put it here. Okay. That was a lot of explanation. My point is, this is a specific thing they do at the end of the year for the last 90 days of the year. The premise is to end your year as um, strong and powerful as you start every new year, right? Because every one of us at the beginning of the year is like, yes, it's a new year, whatever. So their whole program or of this journal is end your year with as much energy and um, gusto, if you will, as you start the year. Okay. That's this last 90 days and then the start today journal. So this particular one combines the start today journal with these five things that you do every single day. You wake up an hour early, you work out for 30 minutes, you drink your weight in water, um, you eliminate a food that's not good for you, and um, you express your gratitude. Now, so normally in this journal, it's just this, and then the last 90 days, they added in this. So in this journal, they're combined. Now, I already had a start today journal. You don't need this journal to do it in. You can do it in any journal. You could do it in any single journal you have, right? Like, like a notebook. She used to just do it in a notebook. Okay. I was already doing it. And then I bought this and I was like, I'm not switching over. Okay. Which I was like bummed. And I'm like, I'll just save it for the next year. I put one or two days in here. I was like, I'm not switching over, but I was like, I'll just save it for the end of this year, 2020. But what they just started last week was um, another 90 days or something. I don't know. Um, they brought the this program back, if you will, this special 90 days during this coronavirus thing to get people to like focus on health, focus on what they're doing, stay in the game, like all of this and they're doing, you can sign up for free. You don't need this journal, you go on their website anyway. Um, so I'm like, Oh yay, I can use my journal, but it's not the last 90 days. And so I was like, I want to cover that up. And so I was again, looking at my stickers and I was like, do I put like, I think he's really cute. I think he's really cute. And it, then it still says 90 days on it. Or I mean, like, obviously I could put him I'd like the dog better or this one almost almost fits you guys like my only other thought is I have um this sticker right here is a Rachel Hollis sticker this hashtag goals and again see this is me I don't I don't stick them in here because gosh forbid I need it someday you guys so I bought this sticker from Rachel Hollis and I could put that on there. <sighs> but I don't think I want to do that. I really, I think he's really cute. I think I'm going to do that. Okay. So see, you guys are helping me make decisions. You're sending me the messages, even just, I know you haven't even watched this yet, but, um, I am just going to do this because sometimes we just have to kind of make a decision and really, is it that big of a deal? It's a journal. Okay. So see, that's done. Um, Okay, and I'll put this little guy back in here. All right, so that is the second journal I do every day, okay? Uh, second journal, and then I check my planner. And then this is my third 
well, I have two journals, two planners. Let's do it that way. Um, this is my second journal, if you will, or planner that I write in, and I write in this at the end of every day, okay? This is an A5 original, no, A6 Hobonichi. Uh, I've showed you the cover and whatnot before, and I only use this for my workout stuff, okay? And so I just wanted to show you really quickly how that's going. Um, so up in the front here, I was just, I tried to do a habit tracker of like, um, like if I did my miles, if I went to the gym, if I was eating on food track, how my sleep was, I tried to try like that is not working for me. I don't, I, I don't know. So then I started tracking like calories per workout and splats at Orange Theory. And so, and so for January, I highlighted like the most calories that I burned. Um, and so that kind of happened. Then I started tracking like the time I went to the gym, the calories and the splats. And so I did that. I tried that for March. So that's what I'm using kind of this monthly for. I don't know. You guys are so good. Some of you at using these for like checking off little boxes and I just... It's just not my jam. I don't know. And I could do that in my regular Hobonichi as well from like my house things. So, mm, totally just dropped that. I'm sure you heard that. Sorry about that. I could totally do that here, right? So some of you guys, like on here, I tried, you can see January and I tried to like, I saw ideas like when you do the bedding and when you do towels and because I try to do them every week and that doesn't happen I'd say for sure every other week like I rotate it I don't know obviously the tracking's not working for me so or I'm not working at the tracking I don't know so in this journal I've been documenting the days I work out so and then on the monthly view um I circle the day and then different colors mean different gyms and then like calories and splats on here. I don't know. And then at the end I was putting like how many days I work out of the month. So that was February. March you can see is a little different. Um, this is what it usually kind of looks like. So I'll show you, I don't want to show you like, um, where's my other thing? Um, so I used to join like three different gyms, if you will. And so every color is a different gym. So orange is like orange theory. Green is running outside now because the gyms are closed. And so I circled the day. I put what time the calories and the splats, if, if that's applicable there. And then out here, I've been putting, um, ran outside how long I went for the calories and the splats. Cause it still hooks up to my monitor. And then if I go work out with like my garage squad, we did a run, a social distance run over here. So I had one day there. So you can see like I ran outside six times. I went to the gym 12 and I ran outside once in March for a 19 day total out of the month. So um, I don't know. That's what I'm using it for. And then on my daily at the night, I just journal um, a little bit what was going on, how I felt. Um, I've just been using the daily pages like that. Okay. So that's kind of what my daily Hobonichi is looking like there. Now, here is the issue. I bought this lovely thing, which I think I showed you. It is a Kiki K, which I've never bought before. And um, they had them at Target. And I think I showed this to you. I, I love it. Like I had to buy it. I love the feel of it. I love, I love it all. Um, it has a month view and it has like a soft yellow. It obviously has the month and then this is a note section and then it has the weeks divided by like this. So there's a note section. Sorry, we got cut off. Uh, okay. So I was in the process of showing you this Kiki K journal. Um, yeah, so it has a month section. Like I was saying, this is the weekly layout. So it has a blank note section and then under each day, it has like an AM and a PM. You could make birthday notes. You could cover this up with any of our stickies, right? Any of our stickers, um, 
any planner stickers, any happy planner stickers, anything you have. I mean, you could decorate it, obviously. I did very minimal because I thought I was going to use this for like one purpose and it turns out I'm not. Now I didn't buy it until, um, I don't know if I back did something. I want to say the end of January. Anyway, I haven't used it and I'm, I get frustrated with myself because obviously I'm wasting it. It's dated pages. Now I could go back and like use it next year and redate everything but that seems like kind of a pain. Um, and I'd like to make use of it. So I'm trying to figure out how to use it. So my thought was um, adding it to my daily journal somehow and maybe doubling up on gratitude or, or something of that nature. Let me make sure. Um, I don't know. I don't know yet. So I just wanted to show it to you guys. If you have any ideas, please comment below. Um, my one thought was like I could add like a like a selfie every week or something or a picture at the beginning of the week to kind of note, you know, a major thing this week or, you know, um, obviously this is like with the mask. Everyone's wearing masks and I started making them. So um, I'm making these and a couple people are asking for those. My other thought is like, you know, all of this size card, if you will, or quotes, this is just from a magazine, but any of the, you know, Project Life cards, whoops, would kind of fit in there, I think. So let me just grab one. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is a little bit bigger. So that's a little too big. So anyway, my thought is just put a quote in there or something. And then how to journal in here. I don't want this journal to go to waste and it's already April. So I'm frustrated with that. So as usual, when I don't use pages, I will always make use of these. So I will either rip them out and use them for journaling spots or something, or I will wait till the end of the year. And if this is a journal that doesn't need to be saved, like maybe it's just, I don't know, emotional scaling or something. Maybe I want to use it for work as an example journal. I haven't quite decided. If it's something I don't want to keep, then I may turn this entire journal into um, like an art journal, if you will, and just paint over the pages or, you know, do something like that. So that's what's on my desk this morning. Um, this is blank and not being used. This is the next 90 days, and I misspoke earlier um, when I explained this part to you. Um, it's wake up early, move your body for 30 minutes or work out. It's drink half your weight in water in ounces, um, eliminate a single food, and then uh, your daily gratitude. So uh, I had said earlier, it's drink your weight in water, which would be even more water. So anyway, um, if you want to go on the website and look up any of that, it's Rachel Hollis. She's amazing. Um, yeah, so that's it for me. This is, this is my, uh, desk this morning. I have already taken a break in between videos and gotten some work done and now I'm back. So I think this is where we left off. I have my morning pages and my 90 days, and then I have my two planners here. And then I have this blank one, which I don't know what to do with. I actually have a couple more blank ones over here as well, but they're undated. So they go in the to be used later pile. So that's what's on my desk this morning. You guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you are doing things that keep you well emotionally as well as physically and um, finding something in every day that inspires you. Have a great day, you guys. Take care. Bye.